Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome to our Town Hall 5 Let's Play. Yes guys, I'm just logging into the account for the very first time after upgrading my Town Hall to level 5. Welcome guys to the, to the series. Um, if you guys didn't see it, we've done a Town Hall 2 Let's Play, 3 Let's Play, Town Hall 4, and now we are Town Hall 5. So if you guys haven't seen those previous series, definitely check out the playlists. But today guys, we're going to be enjoying the first steps, the first days of Town Hall 5. Five, and I'm very excited about it. I love these boosts, by the way. These three days of boosts are the best. Power potions, power boost, whatever. Uh, resource boost, star bonus boost. I mean, it just makes everything so much easier. Um, and I am excited to take advantage of some of the, be the extra perks, actually, of being a Town Hall 5. So first of all, hello, welcome. It's good to see you, Town Hall 5. Uh, the boost has begun, so I'm going to go ahead and collect everything and look at the new buildings that I get as a new Town Hall 5. The first things first though, first things first, army camp, right? Army camp. I get, it's a five minute upgrade and I'm going to go ahead and just start it right now. There you go. That's definitely a day one priority, especially since it's such a short upgrade. Five minutes, no big deal. And then you get to take more troops. And speaking of, I should probably, you know what, I'm going to take extra barbarians. I don't know how many extra troops I'm going to get, but I'd rather it be barbarians in my army camp. Okay, so uh, spell factory, definitely want to get that. That's the lightning spell. We got a couple of new gold mine and elixir collectors. Let's go ahead and uh, start those. Very nice. Okay, and some new defenses. Okay, so I got 25 new walls. That's perfect. I like my walls. I like new walls. Let's go ahead and uh, grab those now and if you do the math and I think I've explained this at the beginning of every single new town hall but if you do the math the new buildings are they give you more of a benefit per minute or per hour or whatever the upgrade time than the existing upgrades because the, as you upgrade stuff it gets more and more expensive so getting the new buildings is absolutely essential it's going to get this archer tower so one minute upgrade and what else is there that's quick okay the wizard tower is three hours but the new cannon is 10 seconds I love that that's awesome Okay, and I think that'll be it. Ooh, we got some traps. Forgot about the traps. All right, bomb. I'll wait. I gotta wait. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was almost perfectly timed, guys, and I didn't even try. Didn't even begin to try, to be honest with you. Okay, so there we go. We got all the new traps. The only things that were, uh, that were missing still is the spell factory, the wizard tower, and of course, our fourth and fifth builder, which is going to require gems. And speaking of gems, don't forget to use code Klaus if you buy anything. Don't forget that it expires after seven days, so always double check your shop. The link for that is in the description. The reason why I mentioned that is because, we go back to the shop, the builder pack, right? I would love to be able to spend five bucks, get $10 worth of gems and another builder. But remember, I'm doing this entire series free to play. That's how I've done it, so I'll, 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 that's how I'm gonna continue to do it. So, uh, now that that is done, other top priorities will be, obviously, this laboratory. In fact, there's no reason why I shouldn't go ahead and start it, okay? It's an 8-hour upgrade, 90,000 elixir. I want to get it done now because, frankly, it's the most important upgrade in the entire thing. And I've said that how many times, guys? Let me know in the comments. At least 100, maybe 1,000, probably a million. I've said it a bunch of times. So, 90,000 elixir, guys. Three, two, one, bam. Cool. All right, and what else can I do right now? Not really anything, I guess. I, I did get an achievement. Upgraded Tunnel 5, bigger and better. 10 free gems. Hey, we're, we're moving up in the world, huh? We're moving up in the world. I've got lots of uh, clad. Oh, and I guess while I'm giving you guys the update, I am moving up to Town Hall 5 as I am a Builder Hall 4. My Builder Hall finally finished, so I'll be working on that. Also, I built this base. It's not the best base, but it's a decent base. And I um, will definitely be, now that I'm a Builder Hall 4, I'll probably be working on getting all this new stuff. But again, ooh, Mega Mine's a zero second upgrade. You know what, let's go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna have to adjust my base design. But yeah, so I'm building, doing Builder Base just to get the sixth builder in the long term. And I don't know, it's kind of fun to have something to do when things are upgrading. So anyway, let's go ahead and do an attack, guys. I got 4x star bonus. So that means I should probably collect my treasure. I've got loads of loot. Oh, wow, my <laughs> treasure loot uh, storage increased. That's awesome. I can hold over a million loot. Okay, hold on. So how much is this Forex going to be? 560,000. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and collect my treasury. And we're going to spend a lot of the gold here on this wall. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and don't, don't rotate. That's not what I meant. So let's upgrade all those again. Make a little bit of room. There we go. Lots of room, actually. And um, oh, I have no way to spend my elixir. 
Can I maybe just do... Okay, let's just start the uh, the Spell Factory upgrade. Obviously, that is a super important upgrade. And... Not upgrade, sorry. Get the Spell Factory. It's going to spend a little bit of Elixir. And it also demonstrates the high level of importance that this building has. Literally, build it first thing. So let's go and do that. 3, 2, 1. Bam. Spells make all the difference in the world. Also, one more thing. I now have Quick Train. Oh, Town Hall 5, I love you. Uh, I hate having to do it manually. So I'm going to go ahead and make the army. I've been doing three giants, five wall breakers, two balloons. And then uh, I think it's 25 barbarians and 20 archers. I think I misspoke and called something else a barbarian earlier. I don't remember. Anyway, that that's what you do. Three giants, five wall breakers, two balloons, 25 barbarians, and 20 archers and it's a 10 minute upgrade and or i'm sorry 10 minute uh, uh training time and then also thirteen thousand elixir not too shabby so that's that's the army and by the way what's the name of this army you're supposed to mix all the troops together so it's like a giant barch wait sorry the a has to be capitalized because it's the archer and then low because balloons so there we go job arch low <laughs> and once we actually unlock the next troop which i believe is the wizards oh yeah dude I can't wait to unlock some wizards. I've got other higher priorities, but definitely I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so I've spent some loot now. I've got one more builder. I could technically use it, uh, but no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go do a couple of raids first, okay? Let's do this. Um, really, it's all about stars, but I'm, I'm gonna try to find a base that doesn't have any wizard towers. I, I will eventually, probably next episode or something, start you know, getting my own wizard tower. <laughs> but for now, uh, I'd rather not attack one if I don't have to. Especially since I haven't done any upgrades that uh, make my attacking Town Hall 5 level. I'm still basically Town Hall 4. Um, Alright, so let's see if there's a CC. There is no CC. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go. So, three giants. Why do I have 45 barbarians? What the heck? Did my- Oh, my army camp finished! I've got an extra fat army right now! 45 barbarians? Oh my goodness. Dude, that is, that is glorious, bro. <laughs> that is so lit. All right, let's get these uh, wall breakers and that's gonna give me access to the town hall. It doesn't look like any of my troops actually care to go to the town hall. Oh, wow, almost opened up the other side. Uh, I still got some balloons, so why not? Well, okay, check this out. So because I forgot that I had the balloons, my other troops took out all the other defenses. I don't wanna put down balloons against an air defense, so it would not make any sense. So watch this. Watch this. Uh, okay, there's no corner buildings, so now I can use the balloons to help out with the cleanup. I don't think I've ever done that. <laughs> like, that worked out nicely, dude. So that's gonna be a three star. That'll be 20 trophies. I didn't even use my CC. All, I think the main benefit there was the new army camp. I don't know how many troops he gave me, but it gave me a lot. Actually, we're about to find out. I think it's 20. Let's see. That, again, don't care about the loot, but the star bonus, that is beautiful. Check this out, guys. I am sitting on 900,000 plus gold and elixir. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see, actually, if I go to my quick train, see, I tr I, I actually cooked this Jibarchlo according to my old uh, army size. So the new army size is with just with the new army cap. So it looks like uh, 20, yes, 80. 80 was the old, 100 is the new. So 20, cool. So let me, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get. An extra giant, some barbarians, and some archers. I think that'll work. Very nice. All right, so how do I make this? I'm gonna put the giants, archer. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I might have. Yeah, I needed a bunch of our, a bunch of giant or barbarians. Sorry. So there we go. The army is now cooking. I got about five minutes until that army is ready to go. Honestly, I don't need to do any more raids. I mean, I was well prepared for before the town hall, and that's what you should do if you're going to start a new town hall. If you're going to upgrade your town hall, make sure you've got plenty of loot before you go because you're going to need it. Okay, you're going to need a lot of loot, and so that's where I find myself being right now. Um, okay, so this army camp upgrade is a one hour upgrade, twenty five hundred. Elixir, but it gives me 10 more troops. I mean, I'm half tempted to just do that one right now Because yeah, that would be awesome, but let me think uh, so we have an eight-hour upgrade another eight-hour upgrade Eight hours from now is late evening. I might still film. We'll see <sighs> But if I do like a one-hour upgrade, then I'll just waste seven hours So what if I do a longer upgrade is it the new defense? That's an eight-hour, isn't it? That's a three-hour. Okay, then I don't want to do that just just yet um 
What about the clan castle? Yeah, that'd be a great. Oh, oh wow! You don't get a, huh, you don't get a clan castle upgrade at Tunnel Five. I had no idea. Wow, I'm learning things as I go. Cool. Well, what about the barracks? Twelve hour to get wizards. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm kind of just like looking around for an eight hour right now, just to make all the timing work out for me. Um. Or, you know what I could do? You know what I could do? I could just upgrade this camp. Again, plus 10 troops is invaluable. Okay? Invaluable. And I might film again. I'll only have one builder, but I can upgrade this thing again. Because I'm telling you, army camps are the number two priority behind your laboratory. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hammer that point home. Very, very important. So, maybe this is what I should do. Uh, I'm going to look at the suggested upgrades real quick. Yeah, the other army camps are... Ooh! The other army camps are eight hour upgrades. Interesting. I could just do this now. That's only plus five. See, I got to wait at eight hours for a plus five, or I could do a plus 10 with the other army camp, and it's only at one hour. See what I'm saying? The new buildings are so powerful in comparison to the old ones. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? Barracks, we got gold mines, storages. I probably should upgrade some storages, potentially the uh, elixir storages. Yeah, yeah, 100,000, 8-hour upgrade. It would double my capacity. Whoa. <laughs> Dang, dude. Yeah, storages are probably going to be essential here soon. But I think the army camp is honestly the absolute most important thing. Because plus 10. I mean, come on. So, I'm going to do this. Uh, 2,500 elixir. That's not very much, but one hour. See? So OP. Let's do it. 3, 2, 1. Bam. That was a no-brainer. That was literally a no-brainer. Did I get another achievement? No, it's, uh, it's friend requests. Okay, cool. So, uh, guys, all three builders are now busy, but here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work on my offense first. That's always, obviously, the, the thing. Because if I can get to a certain number of trophies, I get to have more, more gems. And if I get more gems, I get the fourth builder. If I get the fourth builder, then I get to progress quicker. I mean, it's, it's again, it's a no-brainer. So, definitely going to continue to work on offense, even if it's kind of an awkward set of time. I may end up filming after that and upgrade it again while the other two are still rolling. Who knows? We'll find out. But for now, uh, oh, I'm so close. Two minutes. I got some extra arches I could take with me. What if I gemmed it? No, I need my gems. I'm going to have a coffee break. Ah, it's so good. All right. And yes, less than one minute. Awesome. So one thing I do want to mention is now we have another practice round ready. We have three now, 100,000, 125,000, and 150,000. So what is that? 375, 375,000 extra loot. That's crazy. And then we have these... Goblin maps, which I'm curious about. Let me look at this for a second. Now that I've got extra troop, wow, that's easy. Why, why didn't I take that on as a town hall four? I'm confused. Like I'm, I'm genuinely confused right now. Huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna take on Bouncy Castle, and I think I can do it just with my clan castle. <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> That's crazy. Why did I? I'm so confused right now. I should have taken this on and destroyed it a long time ago. Yeah, because all I got to do is send in my max balloons and they'll wipe out those archer towers and then it's a three star. I don't even need to use my army. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I can request for some CC. Oh, there's not. Uh oh, those aren't maxed. Uh, we may we might have a problem and it just opened up the walls in case I decided to send my giants in there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Did you guys see how fast those archer towers went down? That was gnarly, bro. I love it. I love it. I actually really I genuinely, I never really got this until lately. I really genuinely enjoy the goblin maps, especially at a certain town hall. Like you're you're grinding, man. You're, you're figuring out the game. You're seeing things progress and you're seeing that you are getting better as a player as the goblin maps get harder and they get easier for you to take down. So it's just it's just a cool aspect of the game. I really appreciate it. So there we go. Bouncy Castle going down. What, which one, what Town Hall did this thing say you should be? Town Hall 6, right? Yeah, so we're still ahead of schedule by quite a bit. Not too bad, man. Yeah, look at that. See, also, one thing I'm, I'm a bit concerned about, I'll show it to you in a second. I just got a little bit of loot. I don't really need the loot right now. The thing I'm concerned about is if I get another 3-star, then I get another 560,000 gold in the Elixir. And I literally don't have enough room for that at all. So <laughs> I'm kind of like stalling a little bit. So I, don't, I maybe I can get the stars next time uh, when I actually need the loot more. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Yeah. My army ready? Okay. I'm going to request and... I'm going to go find some... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I, I know I'm, I'm crazy for doing this, but I'm going to go find a base. I'm going to two-star it on purpose. I'm not going to three-star it. 
That way I can save the star bonus for when I actually need it, okay? Uh, this way I actually can get some trophies and continue to progress while not, uh, you know, messing up everything. I don't want to mess everything up. So let's see if we could find maybe a plus 30. That would be great. Yeah, there we go. Plus 30. I know it's got wizard towers, but I think it's going to be, I think it's going to work out. So let's just, first of all, see if we got a CC. No CC. That's what's up. All right. Giants, barbarians, archers. I'm just going to save a couple. Drop my wall breakers. Okay. And then let's also get a, a couple of balloons starting to work on the other side. Okay, so if I managed to two-star this, that would be fantastic. If not, ooh, that blue, wow, those balloons were done fast. Uh, if I managed to at least get a one-star, that would be progress. Better than nothing, right? But I don't want a three-star. I'm, I'm not going to let myself three-star. If I don't think it's going to happen. This space has wizard towers. Uh, but <laughs> check this out, dude. Oh, no. No. Mortar. No. Oh, blast, bro. Stupid mortar. Hate them. Ooh. Oh, guys, I think... I think that these archers are actually out of the range of the mortar. Good job, guys. I'm not going to get a two-star, though. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to have the percentage to actually get a two-star. I'm going to put these archers down here to maybe get a little more percentage, but... Wow. <laughs> yeah, this is why I avoid bases with wizard towers. Because it's really bad. They're really strong. I'm not strong enough. As soon as my, my laboratory upgrades, then I'll be in a decent shape. And as, as soon as I, you know, really get a lot more troops from the army camp upgrades, then we'll be in good shape. But for now, yeah, I'm going to avoid at all cost all all bases with wizard towers. Okay, archers, um, there's really no sense in waiting on you. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. Plus, that mortar was about to kill you. So anyway, got a little bit more elixir, 10 trophies, not good, but better than nothing, right? And thank you for the balloons, W. Parker. You know what? I just restarted the last goblin map with oh it wants me to train troops hold on patience is a key key thing with clash uh three two one there we go all right so if i go into my single player i'm curious about this, this one's called Fikova. oh snapper doodle <laughs> four air defenses are you crazy man are you crazy all right yeah we're not gonna do that that would be crazy no way, dude. No flipping way. All right, guys, I think this will do it for today. Uh, Town Hall 5 Let's Play has begun. The best things about it include the new army camp and the quick train. <laughs> so nice, man. So nice. I will be taking advantage of that every day. <laughs> Um, also, you guys saw what the top priorities are for the day, including getting the new buildings, the new walls, which I've already upgraded to level four, by the way. Um, and then, of course, your your laboratory, your new spell factory, and the new army camp getting its second upgrade of the day. Big time upgrades. Otherwise, I would have probably done the clan castle because that's important too, but I can't upgrade it until next town, like next town hall level. So we're in good shape, guys. Progress is happening. And now the big push the big push to get to uh, uh, 1,250 trophies, I believe, will be the goal. So anyway, guys, that's all for me for today. Like the video if you liked it. If you're going to enjoy this Town Hall 5 Let's Play, things get more exciting at Town Hall 5 and very much more at Town Hall 6. So we're definitely going to continue to push here in 2021. This is the theme of 2021, fresh new beginnings. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already for daily gaming videos and ring that bell for notifications. And like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, do not forget to use code Klaus to support your favorite content creator. If, if I happen to be that person, if not use somebody else's code, just make sure you use somebody's code with, if you make any in-game purchases and remember it expires after seven days. So double check, make sure you get that C in your shop before you buy something. If it's not there, then use your, you know, the link in the description to input that code automatically or input that code manually in the settings. And remember it works for all super Supercell Games. Remember, guys, that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.